All right, guys, there is the vote, nine to eight. It's, uh, it's a Democratic League, Democratic Nation. <clears throat> uh, we've had, uh, I've had discussions with a couple of people uh, in the league that <laughs> don't make videos. Uh, they're very passionate about this uh, poll and voting and when should the poll be valid. Uh, gosh, the only thing I can say is that uh, 20 of you um, now for uh, outside of Stacy being new here, uh, 20 of you have played at least four seasons probably in this league. Uh, 20 of you line them up every week. However, for some reason, uh, even though you go in the league and you do all these things, we struggle to get uh, enough votes to represent the league. And uh, this just simply shouldn't be this way. That's the way I see that. It just shouldn't be that way. Um, uh, so, you know, the league's go gonna, as far as commissioner goes, the league's gonna be uh, held to a standard of 17 minimal votes for a poll to be valid. I've had this in the past where, where uh, it just didn't stack up and uh, the poll uh, disappeared and nothing changed because the league did not uh, exercise its voting ability to make that change. Yeah, and some guys, you know, uh, a couple in the league say, you know, gosh, even if there's 12 votes or 13 votes and it's uh, obvious one way, that's the way it should be. And I see the point in that. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, 20 of you go into the league uh, every week. Uh, polls generally stay up a minimum of two weeks. There's absolutely no reason that you shouldn't vote in the poll. Uh, a no vote is uh, like some jerk in Congress uh, in our Washington, D.C. that has a no vote because they don't want people to know either way or the other. But guess what? I don't know the way you vote. There's, that's the reason we do the poll on the league uh, and not in Facebook so that no one knows who votes. So your vote is completely anonymous. There's absolutely no reason to vote, uh, not to vote. So with that said... Uh, the vote's nine to eight. Uh, seven members have not paid for next year. Uh, you seven can surely pay at any time and you would become a participant. Uh, I encourage paying a couple of years out. But uh, nonetheless, uh, the vote is going through and we will immediately exercise this option where you can make that one one trade in the year for a draft pick next year if you feel the need to do that at any time. You know, just trading a player sometimes don't get it. To have that draft pick added to it uh, enhances the trade and is more likely to make the trade go through, especially when somebody's super down and out or is in a real need. Uh, this was all spontaneously done because of the quarterback situation that can come up during the year. So it's advantageous for everyone. I mean, I'm making this rule and set this rule forth, and Kyle and I talked about it. Uh, uh, we had set this rule forth for that reason because uh, there's no winning scenario. Uh, I w I've gone through all the scenarios of one, two, and three quarterbacks. So, so we're going to do another poll that's coming up, uh, and it's going to be voting on trades, and I will uh, go through a video when that poll comes up in the next week or so. So the vote's nine to eight, very close. Uh, 17, when we reach 17, whatever the vote is, that's the way we're gonna go. Uh, again, I think if 20 of you are going in uh, every week and sometimes probably every few days, uh, there's no reason to not find out how to click right to the poll when you go into the league and look, and especially I'm gonna announce a poll, so it'll be there. There's just no excuse um, to not vote. So uh, the seven of you haven't paid, it's real easy pay, it's on the main league page. If you have any questions, ask me. You will be able to participate in this. Uh, um, and you know, it might be too late if you wait and say, well, I'll just pay whenever I get in trouble. Uh, that, that might not work for you. Um, uh, and as Jake has told me, you know, a six pack of beer and a bag of nuts is 10 bucks. I mean, it's just nothing um, to pay 10 bucks to, to have the fun that we have in this league uh, and to have the fair environment. As far as the uh, defense goes, 
Uh, I am look, gonna look at that real closely. I do see one error that uh, probably didn't surface so much last year simply because, number one, we had a preseason where the defenses had time. You know, in preseason, the defenses, first string defenses play more than half the game every uh, week, and the offenses do not uh, because the offenses are uh, more in tune because they know what they're going to do, and the defenses don't, and the timing has to get more right. So that's one thing. And just like this Kansas City-Baltimore game is coming up, uh, you know, Kansas City is going to have the big advantage just like uh, Aaron Rodgers had in New Orleans last night uh, because – uh, you know, he's a good play caller uh, uh, and uh, alters his count, snap count, and his voice inflection. And uh, I don't know how good Lamar Jackson is at that, but uh, uh, Baltimore is going to have its work cut out for him. A lot of people are picking Baltimore, but uh, because uh, 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 Mahomes is going to have an advantage in calling the plays and changing the plays without a crowd there. And so I think there's a lot of factors that, uh, and uh, Randy, as Randy said last night, uh, the scoring is higher than ever. Uh, but I still think that we're going to make some mild changes to the team, special teams, defense uh, next year. Uh, uh, some, some of you said something about a sack being .1 points or .14. It might show only .1, but it's .14, which is one point in an actual league divided by seven. So... Um, you know, the sack is one point uh, on the team defense. If you look at it, uh, if we had all the points there, the you know, 200 to 160 type ball games, which I, that's the right reason I changed that rule. So there you go. Next poll is going to be uh, voting on trades, and uh, I'll come up with a video for that. Thanks.